This video is going to introduce you to the VP4 online website and the My Profile page. First I'm going to log into the client using the same email and password we use on the website. When we log into the client it also logs us into the website. So here we are in the lobby. We can press the website button or just hit Control Z to show the website. Up on the top right you can see who I'm logged in as. There's log out button and there's a search bar. The search bar can be used to find other players or events. Below that is the nav bar. It allows you to navigate to any major section of the website. There's the home page, store, my profile page, calendar, messages, rankings and stats, watch shots, blogs, partners, and support. On the left side of the website there's the left panel. This stays with you on most of the pages that you'll visit. At the top you can see that it's showing me that I have new messages. I can click on that link to go see them. Below that it's showing alerts. You'll get alerts for a variety of situations. This one is saying John Slingblade is online because he's one of my friends. Notices regarding events that need players, ladder match challenges, and other things related to you personally will show up here. To the right of the left panel is the page specific data area. I'm on my profile so this is all the my profile information. At the top you see my player name and my slogan. Below that there's a panel it has my player picture, shows that I'm online in the lobby, shows my country flag, shows my icon, and how much money I have, and some other information here about my player status. This queue, I could click that to get my queue case, and then this pencil icon, if I click on that, I'll get my account information and I can edit that. So here's my account info. I can edit any of this information except the player name. You need to message support and ask them to reset it if you want to change it. We don't allow you to change the player name anytime you want. All this other information including the logo and picture can be changed. Below that is options for forwarding email. You can forward email from the message system. Some are personal messages from other people. Some are about events. We also have options for turning off newsletter special promotions. There's a download game button in case you need to download and reinstall the VP4 online game. There's an update button to save this information and then there's cancel if you just want to get out. Quickly going through the rest of the page, this is your skill level C and that little icon is the skill shield. Next to that is a rating that players that come to your page can select to, to rate you. Then there's points and there's rating. The points are ranking points. That's the ranking list is based on those points and the rating is what you use to come up with that C skill level. That's the numerical value. You've got Facebook Connect to the right of that. This green panel is for stats. It shows one game of stats for boots. If I refresh this it will change to another game. This one's straight pull. Clicking the see all stats button shows all the stats for Boots. Below that's an awards panel. If Boots had won a tournament you'd see the trophy here. There's also a button to go to a trophy page. Down on the tabs, the recent activity tab shows everything Boots has been doing lately. His friends tab shows all his friends. Notice it shows their status whether they're online or offline. It also shows the location. You can click on these links to actually enter the rooms. Then the Teams tab. There's no Teams for Boots yet. Events. This shows all the events that Boots is currently signed up for and actively playing. If he was in a tournament right now you'd see that. The Charge History tab. This is where Boots can look and see all his charges and all his awards for winning events. Note that uh, charge history is only shown to the player who owns the page. I'm going to click on this queue to bring up the queue case. 
This shows all the Q's boots on. Since it's my page, I can select what I'm going to use to play with, what I'm going to display on my profile. Note that there's a Use button for each type of Q. So if you, if you own multiple play cues, you can click Use on a different Q, and then you'll see that Q in game. On my page, I can edit my account information. I can see how much money I've got. I can go look at my charge history. But it's not the same when you go to another player page. I'm going to go take a look at Larry. On Larry's page, I can't edit account information. I can't see how much money he has. And I can't see his charge history. So on other players pages, some information is missing. But most everything else is there. You can see his recent activity, his friends. You can see his awards. I can click this button to see the awards page. You can see Larry's been very successful, and I can see that he's a professional, has a lot of points and a high rating. So I can see Larry's a great player and a good guy.